Good morning, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and Real Southern Woman. Today we're going to be reading in Psalms, um, Psalms chapter 5, if y'all want to turn to it. My washing machine is going in the background. I don't know if you can hear it because it's spinning. But um, I am staying home today, finally. I'm going to try to get a little bit of, uh, not really rest, but not be out running around so much. Um, if any of you um, have something that you want to make for the holidays and I, I don't have a video on it, let me know so that I can try to get you a video made. Um, I'd like to do that. I'd like to make one today, but I don't really know what to do. So um, y'all just let me know if you have anything in mind. Um, our broadcast got interrupted. I have no idea what that was. It looked like an advertisement from CNN. That was really strange. Anyway, I do these videos on my phone every time. So if somebody calls or if I get some sort of message, sometimes it will interrupt us and I'm sorry for that. But most of the time I can exit out of it and come back and be, you know, and it'd be pretty quick. Um, so I have to, you know, look at the screen just in case something crazy happens. But anyway, like I said, if any of y'all have a recipe that you want to make for Christmas, and I don't have a video on it, let me know because I want to start doing a few uh, videos on CVC for that. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about Psalm 5 today. If you want to turn your Bibles to Psalm 5, this is a psalm um, that is a prayer for guidance. And yesterday we read Psalm 4 and he was um, asking, you know, telling us that we should meditate in our bed. And today he uses the word meditate again. So, um, it's really nice. So, I wanted y'all to hear what he has to say to us today. We're reading in the Lord's Word, and you know that when we pray, we talk to God, but when we read His Word, He talks to us. And you don't want a one-sided relationship, so you always want to be in the Word of God so that He can talk to you. If you think that God talks to you any other way, I'm sorry to say you're wrong now the holy spirit can help guide you but if you really want god to talk to you you need to get in his word okay so we're going to read in psalm 5 today and it says um i'm going to read you the summary for it first and it says that mercy describes god's steadfast love and um it says and his covenant loyalty experiencing god's uh mercy is a primary benefit of faith in Him. This a reference to God's covenant love is often translated loving kindness. God's love must be set in the context of His covenant to emphasize the constancy and the fidelity of His love for His people. Through God's loving kindness, He promises forgiveness, compassion, and blessings and we talked about those blessings yesterday um, such faith leads the believer to fear the Lord in reverence obedience okay and we should fear the Lord and, and many of us don't think of the Lord that way but we should fear him joy protection and blessings surrounded those who put their faith in the Lord um, they are surrounded by those things Um, it looks like some of you, so one of you asked for divinity. I actually have a video on divinity if you search it on YouTube. And one of you asked for fruitcake. And do you know, I absolutely love fruitcake. I do. I love it. It has to be good. You know, it's not like those you get in the store, but it's delicious. So I will be, uh, I may really do that one because that's something I would like to have too. Uh, but yes, I have a divinity recipe if you want to search it on YouTube. All right, um, this psalm is a prayer for guidance. It says to the chief musician with flutes, a psalm of David. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you and I will look up. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. 
If you want to know what iniquity is, it just means sinning with the intentions of sinning. Um, it's like really bad, rebellious disobedience, okay, to God's will. Um, you shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of mine enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Pronounce them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against you. But let all of those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, I will bless. Oh, I'm sorry. For you, O Lord, will bless Bless the righteousness. With favor you shall surround him as with a shield. That's a beautiful verse. And then she goes on to say that uh, the shield is designed to protect the entire body. So he's telling God that he wants to praise him. He's going to look up to him and pray to him in the mornings. That he will fear him. Um. He talks about how God hates, uh, abhors, which is hates, uh, workers of iniquity, those who are evil in their thoughts and wicked ways, and how much he will bless us with his mercy and grace who love him and look to him. So that's a beautiful psalm. I love reading the psalms. They're beautiful pieces of work. They're poetry and prayers and, and songs that we can praise the Lord with, okay? So when we get up and read a psalm every day, we're actually praising the Lord through the Word of God, and we should do that. I appreciate those of y'all who want to listen to the Word of God. For many of the people will actually want to hear me talk, but if I start to read the Word of God, they don't want to hear it, which is normal because the book is spiritual, and you have to be in your spiritual way of thinking in order to want to listen. To a spiritual book. It is not a fleshly bodily book. So it's natural for the man or woman to tune off when they hear the word of God. But just remember the word of God is our sword, our shield, our comfort, our joy. It is the power of salvation. Those who get saved and born again do it through the word of God. Okay. So we should not be ashamed of Christ and his word, because it is the power of salvation, right? Um, I'm so glad to see y'all this morning. I see somebody's here from uh, Cedartown. Hey, I just love to see Cedartown people, because uh, that's where I'm from. And um, a lot of them used to t tune in, and they haven't been tuning in lately, so I hope they start again. Hey, Kay. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Carolyn. Um, let's see who else is here. Mary. Hey, Mary. Um, you're finally here live. I got on here late enough for you, didn't I, sweetheart? And Teresa Lawrence is here. Uh, Marilyn King. Let's see. Rhonda and Callie. Kay Taylor. Jim and Becky. Oh, it's, it's Becky. Hey, Becky. I hadn't seen you in a while either. Now, y'all listen. Uh, the last few days has been crazy. You know that we've been gone, and then we got back, and then we had Thanksgiving, and we had a project, and we had cookbooks, and I mean, it's just been one thing after the other. I've gotten all my Christmas done. I've gotten a house decorated. I've gotten Mama's room decorated now, so it's time for me to settle down and hopefully focus a little bit more on Real Southern Woman, the Lord, like I should, and uh, Color Valley Cooks. Now, I do have some more projects that are due by the end of the year, but um, right now, uh, I'm taking a few days and meditating on God's Word 
and meditating on my plans for CBC and what what we'll be doing next. So, hey, Velda, it's y'all have no idea. Y'all really don't how much it means to me for y'all to watch, especially when I'm reading the word of God. It makes my heart warm because I want you guys to know how much I love the Lord, how much he blesses our family and how he makes a difference in our lives. Um, if it weren't for God, um, I wouldn't, there's so many things that we would not have and so many things that we would not be blessed with. And he has blessed us beyond measure. He blessed us when he let me survive cancer. And I know that there's people who don't survive cancer and it's God's will to bring them home. But for some reason he kept me here and I hope he uses me as his vessel. I owe it to him, not only because he saved me from cancer, but he saved me, my heart from being lost and going to hell. That's the number one reason we should praise the Lord. That's the number one reason we should not be ashamed. And that's the number one reason we should spread the good news. And so many of us are ashamed or just are afraid of what people might say or think. And let me just say this, um, let God take care of that. And you do what God expects you to do. Um, and, and you will be blessed. Okay. Um, I'm just happy to be here and, uh, I hope that y'all tune in to me today with Color Valley Cooks when I decide what I want to make. And, uh, like I said, I told them earlier, if you have a recipe that you want to make for, uh, the holidays or Christmas, um, or even the new year. And you don't, and I don't have a video on it. Just let me know, put in some requests so that I'll know what to do because I have a lot of stuff on YouTube. Um, and so some of the things you asked for, like divinity are on YouTube. Now I used brown sugar and I made a brown sugar divinity, but you can use the same, you can use white sugar and make the same recipe. So you can look that up and it was, it turned out perfect. So y'all look that recipe up. If you want to make some divinity, my mother made divinity every single year and her homemade chocolate fudge that she cooked on the stove and that's on there as well the only let's see i have not made I'm trying to think i have not made mama's famous sponge cake i've made the angel food cake and i have a video of mama trying to tell me how to make her sponge cake and it's the cutest thing and i need to make a sponge cake and put that together with mama in it uh, and she couldn't remember every step, but it was just really sweet. Um, and I really enjoyed going to see her yesterday. But with all that said, let's say our prayers for today. Um, oh, and one more thing. I am cleaning out my refrigerator today from Thanksgiving. There's stuff still in there. If any of you are like me and you still got the stuff in the refrigerator from Thanksgiving, take today. I, I'm giving you a... Um, what do you call it? Uh, encouraging you, giving you a boost. To get up today, clean out that refrigerator, and just put all the stuff in the in the dishwasher and run it. Okay. Um, G oh, Becky's making pumpkin rolls today. Good job, Becky. I like pumpkin rolls. Um, I have to say though, the Swiss cake roll that I made that's on YouTube, it was so good. It, it was. It was really better than the pumpkin roll, but that's because it's chocolate, and you know we all we all love chocolate. So um, if y'all want a good pumpkin recipe, that pumpkin cheesecake that's on there is amazing. It's Chris's favorite cheesecake, but I actually made it with yams. Um, and another one that's really really good is my pumpkin bread that I make every year. Um, but let's say our prayers, and y'all have a blessed day, and it's so good, and y'all are such a blessing to come on here. And I love all your comments, even if I don't get to respond. So let's say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your word. We thank you for David, the king that had your own heart, even with his problems, even with his mistakes and his sin, even as evil as he could be, as my preacher mentioned last night, about he would pray that people be killed and etc. Um, you loved him very, very much, and you blessed David. And we have all of these beautiful blessings, psalms, songs, and words of praise 
that he pinned down and you have preserved in your word. And we thank you for that. We thank you for letting us, a people who are not perfect, be able to come to you through your son, Jesus Christ, and worship you and pray to you and have an abundant life. I pray that if anybody listening cannot remember the day of their salvation, they cannot remember the day that they were saved or they don't know what being born again is, that they will ask me or someone. Um, we just bless you and praise you for all that you do for us and others. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. I'm about to clean out the refrigerator. And Amy just walked in, my sweet, sweet girl. Bye, y'all. Love ya.